Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add forms to your website in order to collect emails and link those forms with your email autoresponder. If you don't know what an email autoresponder is, it's basically a software that allows you to collect email subscribers through different uh, methods such as forms. Um, it also allows you to assign subscribers into lists. And finally, you can even create automation sequences that will automatically send out emails to your subscribers based on certain conditions. Now, email, even today, is a very powerful way of communication for any business out there, and having an email list is still a very powerful and valuable asset. So this is the reason why I'm making this video today. Now, the email autoresponder that I'm going to be using in this video is called MailerLite.com. And uh, I've been using MailerLite for about uh, six years now, ever since 2015, I've been using MailerLite. And I just really like this tool for its simplicity, all the features they have, and also the flexible plans. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna be doing is, what I'm gonna do is basically create a form, and I'm gonna show you guys how to add a form um, that you create on an autoresponder, how to connect it with your uh, website and I'm going to be using WordPress. In this case, you can obviously do this on any type of website as long as you're able to um, add some code, add some HTML to your website, uh, you should be able to do this. So the first thing we do is just create a form. You can also create pop-ups. Um, it depends on what you want to do basically, but I'm just going to be, um, I'm, I'm going to be creating embedded forms, which is, um, a form that stays on the website is not something that pops up and I'm going to give this form a name and let's just call it test save and continue and now I'm able to create a group or in other words a list um, and this is where my subscribers are going to be stored so everyone who signs up on my form their email and their information is going to be stored in this list. So um, it's good to create different lists for different types of forms. So for example, if you have one form on one website and another form on another website, you know, it's good to have different uh, lists, you know, so you can distinguish between them. And then you can also know um, who you're sending emails to because you might want to create an email campaign for one group of people and another email campaign for another group of people. So it's important to have different lists. Now I'm just going to call this example list, or I'm just going to go because it's group name, I'm just going to call it example. There we go. And then I select this um, and save and continue. Now the next part is should be um, customizing the form. So we're going to go ahead and design our form. Um, so right here, you can see all the different settings so we can change the background. I think this is going to be the, um, the, okay, that background now, uh, I don't really care about that background because I'm going to be embedding the form. So I'm just going to go with, let's just go with white. Um, the background of the form though, I care about this part because this is going to be viewed on my website. So I'm just going to go with this light gray. You can edit the heading, you know, you can choose your font here. That looks good. And you know, you can have uh, it depend de depending on what you want to do and what ideas you have to collect um, subscribers, you know, um, the title of the form will obviously change. So what many people do on their websites in order to collect subscribers is they offer something for free. So you might say, get your free ebook, you know, um, and then you can say like, let us know where to send your free ebook, right? And then they just enter their email, they subscribe, and they uh, then you can set up an automation wherein um, every time you get a subscriber on this list, you can send out an email 
which might contain that ebook. It might have a link to an ebook. So um, that's what most people do. And I will show you how to do that in a second uh, after we embed the form on the website. So um, that's one way of doing it. Uh, another way is simply just uh, saying uh, subscribe to our newsletter. Right, so that's another thing that many websites have, newsletter, right, um, and so on. I'm just gonna go with the get your free ebook. There, there we go. And uh, also what we could do is actually, if we click here, we can edit the fields, right? So we currently uh, ask the user to enter their email. We can add more fields, so we can add a name which should go first, I think. Um, and then you can uh, basically ask for any type of information you want. Uh, you can change the field type, you know, if you want to ask for a phone number, uh, the con their country and so on, uh, you can change that right there. And all this information is going to be stored in the user's profile, um, in the subscriber's profile, sorry. Um, so yeah, let me just, I'm just going to do name and email. Um, now we could also go to settings here and there's some um, additional uh, stuff you can add to your forms. So there's a recaptcha, uh, which is really uh, useful these days because there's so many bots out there that they would crawl your website and uh, spam your forms. So uh, this will um, uh, make it harder for them to basically uh, keep on spamming your form. Um, you can also add a GDPR, you know, if you're in the EU and you're required to uh, have that there, you can um, easily add a GDPR compliant, um, privacy policy, and so on. So um, really, you can fully customize your form here, guys, and then once you're done, you can just click on Next. And this is now where we should get our code, which we're going to be able to easily add to our website. So here we are on this page, we can basically uh, see all the information for our form. Uh, the first option right here, double opt-in, this, this basically means um, when someone subscribes on your list, they will receive an email that is going to look like this, and it's just going to be a confirmation email. You know, they will have to click on the button in order to officially subscribe to your list. And this is used, uh, you know, to avoid uh, spammers, you know, if you want to keep your uh, list clean, you know, um, you can uh, have this enabled and it's going to send them that email. Uh, for this example, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go into that. Um, here again, you can edit your, your form, which is what we did a second ago. And then here, uh, this is where you choose your subscriber list. This is the first thing we did before we created the form. Um, as you can see, all the emails that we collect from the, um, from the form are going to go into this group. Um, here we have a share URL, which is basically a URL with the form. You know, you can send this to someone if you if you don't want to add the form to your website and you want to send it to different people, uh, you can use that link right there. Um, and then finally here, this is where we get the code, which we can use in order to embed the form on our website. There are different types of code here. I'm just going to go with the JavaScript because it's the, it's the shortest one. Uh, and what you do, uh, what you need to do is basically use both um, pieces of code right here. You need to copy and paste both of these on your website. Um, the idea is uh, in more technical terms, this code needs to go on the header of the website. So basically um, on the top part of the website, and then this goes wherever you want the form to appear. Uh, however, because I'm going to be doing this in WordPress, um, I'm just going to be uh, adding both of these pieces of code together. So let me just copy it and show you how to add it to your site. Once again, this can be added on any site, which allows you to, um, to enter some code. Um, I'm going to do it in WordPress. So uh, I, have a, um, I have a page here. I'm just going to create a new page. Uh, I'm going to call it home. I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to edit this page using Elementor. If you don't know what Ele Elementor is, guys, it's a really nice page builder, right? So if you don't have Elementor, you can basically just go here and add some code on your page. And this would work actually. So we could just copy po both of these um, pieces of code. And then if we publish this page, 
uh, view page. Okay, that didn't work. Um, yeah, that's why <laughs> that's why I use Elementor. Let's see if that works. Preview. Okay, that doesn't work. So that's the reason I use Elementor because this editor right here, the default WordPress editor is just not good at all. Um, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Anyway, so I, I use Elementor in order to edit my pages, which is a page builder that makes the whole process easier. I'm gonna put a few links on the in the description of some Elementor um, videos that if you, if you guys wanna check those out, um, uh, you can learn how to easily design your pages. Uh, so I'm inside Elementor here and I'm just gonna search for the code element. I'm gonna drag it on my page here and now I can enter my code right there. So let's copy this once again. This goes first and then this goes second. There we go. And there we have it, that's our form. Uh, I'm just gonna update this and let's just preview the page. And there we have our form, guys. Now, all the emails that we collect from here, all the emails that we collect here are gonna go straight to our, um, our list. So now if I go to my subscribers list, so now if I go to groups, example, there we go, guys. So the email is in our list, right? So now I showed you how to add forms to your website. You can repeat this process with any form you create on MailerLite. Uh, but now I'm gonna show you how to create some automations. So we're gonna go to automation. Uh, and the goal, what I wanna do basically is I wanna create an automation so every time I get a subscriber on this list, it's gonna send out an email right? So it could be like a welcome email or whatever you want it to be. Um, so I'm going to create my workflow here. So here we are. So we need to set up our workflow trigger. So I'm just going to name a workflow here. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, welcome. Uh, let's say example workflow, right? Then we need to set up a trigger. Right, so this is what's gonna trigger this workflow. This is this is gonna be the the thing that is gonna allow this uh, automation to begin, right? And as you can see, we have a bunch of different um, triggers here. And the first one, when a subscriber joins a group, so every time someone enters um, their details on our form, right, they're gonna be added to our group, the example group that we saw earlier. So this workflow is gonna trigger when um, this event happens. Um, but there is another event that we could use, which is when a subscriber completes a form, right? And this is going to allow us to choose this form right here. And the workflow is going to trigger when we get a new subscriber on the form. Essentially, these two are uh, the exact same thing. Uh, I'm just going to go with the first one. They're, they're literally the same thing. Um, and we're going to do it. So when, um, a subscriber joins our example group, right? Um, repeat workflow for subscribers who rejoin the same group. So this is basically when, um, the same person subscribes to your list twice, you can repeat the whole workflow for them, or you can just not do it again. And I'm, I'm not going to do it again. Um, and then this is our trigger created. So now we can, uh, choose what to do, right? And we can just create an email that we're going to send. And this is going to be uh, a welcome email. So I'm going to put the subject here as uh, welcome to our list. You know, you can have emojis, anything you like. Um, and then who is it from? You can have your uh, company name. Uh, you can also have your email. And then here you can design your email. Uh, so you can use the drag and drop editor, which is a very nice editor to use, uh, much sim more simple than uh, using HTML. 
and as you can see here it's just a very nice um, builder you know for your email so you can edit every single uh, element here um, welcome to our list and so on and it's basically like a it's like a page builder guys you can you can add elements you can edit elements you can do anything you want on this page uh, so then once we're done editing uh, this is going to be the email that's going to be sent out when someone subscribes to our list and we're going to go ahead and test this out so here we are our email is right there and then we can continue this workflow um, we can add a delay this is what most marketers and companies do out there guys they would put like a this is you know why when when you subscribe to email lists you 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 start getting emails every single day but those emails are not sent to you um, manually by the company they're always sent using an autoresponder so here I can just put a delay for two days you know and then have another email go out and then I can have another I don't know like three day delay and then I can have another email go out uh, and then you can have conditions also so you can have um, a condition based on like um, the number of people who opened your your previous email so as you can see here we have um, the conditions are um, uh, group members like let's see so campaign activity um, workflow activity yeah there we go so workflow activity on our welcome to our list email and if there are some links on this email you know that some people could have clicked you know we can set up a condition for that and we can say that whoever has clicked on link on this email they should get they should go through this route you know and then here we can have more emails if they didn't click on that link in this email then we can go with this route you know so you can create different conditions and different workflows depending on um on what your subscribers do basically um, so yeah guys this is the idea now let's go ahead and test it out let's just subscribe um, so what we need to do first is turn on okay so we have some incomplete steps let's go ahead and delete these ones because they're incomplete delete 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 now let's go ahead and turn on our workflow and now I'm gonna test this out so I'm gonna go to my page here let's reload this perfect uh, let's do some um, okay now we're gonna need a right okay so we have a temporary email here let's just enter it let's just enter it right there subscribe and now we should receive an email let's see there we go oh yeah there we go okay yep that's the email we created so there you go guys um, you now know how to create a form on your autoresponder uh, how to attach your form on your website you know any website any page you want you can add a form and then you can link that form to a list on your autoresponder so all the subscribers from that form go to a specific list and then you can create an automation that triggers when someone subscribes um, to the list or when someone subscribes on a form and perform certain actions such as send out a welcome email which we have received right here so um, there you go, guys. So uh, let me know below in the in the comments if you have any questions, any suggestions, anything else you want to see. Uh, as always, please uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials like this one and more projects that I have coming out soon. Thank you so much for watching.